Hi, so I'm going to show what I'm packing with me, you know, because I'm going to Dubai on Tuesday. So um, I have, uh, you know, a form of a cabin, uh, you know, travel uh, suitcase with me and I'm going to be checking it in. So, I mean, I can keep liquids and stuff in it. But I'm going to start off with the, you know, what I'm going to check in and it's in a cabin uh, luggage thing. I'm going to turn the camera around here and I'm going to show what I'm taking with me. So this is, by the way, what it looks like. Uh, and this one is just like a common type of, you know, it has wheels that can rotate and uh, it's really good to, to have like a smaller uh, kind of, um, you know, suitcase with because uh, I might be, you know, going to different places and I want to be able to go in these... Uh, what escalators and stuff and you know be able to move quite fast through different locations so by first uh, I have you know like shampoo and conditioner and these are from Uttikrem so they are vegan organic to some extent and these are quite good this one is like half full because I think I only need like that much you know in order to actually uh, get me through this <laughs> to buy a uh, experience so I didn't say how long I'm going to be there I'm going to be in Dubai for at least three weeks but maybe four weeks so we will see so I think this is as much as I need for you know the shampoo and then I can just get rid of them when I'm traveling back and then I have some uh, you know uh, kind of hand sanitizer which is really practical this one is in a larger kind of size so I'm going to take this one you know I'm using this for all kinds of, uh, you know, scenarios. And then I have uh, a hanger, and this is something I want to recommend. So, because I'm not going to be staying in a hotel, I'm going to be staying in... Uh, I'm going to turn the camera around. So I'm going to be staying at some uh, friend's house, and uh, therefore I need to consider, you know, to have uh, things that might be practical with me as well, you know, uh, to sort of make the stay more you know comfortable and stuff i mean everything that i possibly will be in the need of is over there but it's just like i have like three weeks that i'm going to go there and i might switch the place after some time so i just want to ensure i have you know all the things that i think is uh, quite uh, practical to bring with me so i'm taking this kind of velvet hanger with me because it's really good to get the more finer type of materials out of the bag you know when you are arriving and also here in this kind of heart shaped uh, velvet thing I can also hang some scarves and different things you know really practical and it doesn't weigh so much and then because I do not want to use uh, cotton type of pillowcases you know I like to use some form of silk as pillowcase so this is a form of a what should I call it? like a robe or like a kimono you know and it has a very nice form of pattern and this is very practical because I'm going to use this one as a you know as a pillowcase I mean I'm going to have a pillowcase but I will put this one on top of that and also if I want to wear it I have like a you know very nice type of outfit here so I can sort of, you know, multi-use it, you know, and this is a very important thing when you're traveling and you're going to, you have a limited space and you're going to be away for a certain, you know, time to sort of, you know, think about things that you sort of can use for more than one type of thing. So I'm going to continue here. So these are the clothes that I'm considering bringing with me and I'm uh, going to show sort of how I'm thinking when I'm traveling. So I'm quite, by the way, practical, like... You know, I don't have super extravagant form of wardrobe. However, I do enjoy, I mean, I need to have clothes for workouts. I need to have clothes for, you know, day to day. And I need to have clothes for evenings and different things I might be doing over there. So I have quite, uh, you know, and also I want to have some scarves and like modest type of clothes because I'm going to Dubai and uh, I mean, Dubai is uh, Islamic uh, place and I mean Dubai is very like you can just wear quite a lot of different random types of clothes however I feel like you know in order to not not be underdressed it's always better to you know wear clothes so anyway I just have some you know a scissor is always a good idea to take with you never know what you need to 
you know, cut or be able to open. So this one I'm just going to keep in the in this uh, check-in uh, sort of carrier. And then I have, here I have a pair of black leggings and I'm going to take one pair with me because I might buy more of these uh, over there. This one is actually something I got in Dubai and I really like them. I can use them for every day and I can use them, you know, even if I would do a workout or whatever. And then I just have very lightweight kind of the material of a pair of long trousers and these are really fast drying. So one of the things since I'm going to Dubai is that I want to have clothes that are fast drying and that do not, you know, feel, get like uh, really heavy and stuff in case you, you know, washing them and also like in the heat and stuff. So they need to be fast drying. So these are really good for that. And then I have another pair of trousers which has a very nice kind of paisley shimmery formal pattern and I think these I might also be wear, be able to wear like in the evenings if I'm going somewhere and then I have let's see here I have one white uh, under you know long sleeve under shirt that I can use under some form of blouses for example this one which is a white blouse I feel like whatever you're packing and whatever your style is it's always a good idea to have some form of white blouse with you to sort of you know uh, neutralize whatever outfit you might be wearing and then I have one black uh, polo shirt and this one is a very unique form of material I got it in Dubai as well so I'm taking that one with me because I can wear it on its own and I can also wear it together and underneath other forms of clothes and then I have one red kind of cotton type of very holiday looking or whatever I mean I wear this one on a daily basis I don't care too much about the holiday effect here but uh, I mean in Dubai this one is perfect it has some embroidery and stuff very good to wear on you know being outdoor in the sun and so forth then I have uh, this which is like a long type of tunic and it's a uh, has a zipper at the front and this one it has as you can see quite a nice pattern and some glitter and all types of things so this one is more like I mean I can wear this one in the daytime but especially you know for like evening type of events and then I have one simple you know just pull on type of uh, sh um, skirt and this one I can you know put on any forms of leggings and it dries super fast so, I mean I can wear this one in the daytime and you know it doesn't take up so much space and it doesn't weight almost anything and then what do I have here yeah so this is another Dubai finding that I got this one is a long kind of uh, tunic it almost goes all the way down to the floor and it has very nice burgundy type of color long sleeves and it has it's the material is almost like nothing you know it's like um, I mean you need to wear something underneath here but it's just like it covers very well and it's just so lightweight so it doesn't feel uh, you know warm and at the same time very nice kind of uh, rich type of color you know and I really like this color you know it's kind of my type of color so I really it's such a good uh, piece to have you know uh, so then I have over here, I'm probably going to take a few more scarves with me, but uh, for now this is just what I have put in here. So I have one plain type of sand color scarf and then I have one uh, uh, sort of printed uh, scarf with some you know nice type of pattern. And then I have some bandanas because I'm going to be out and running and you know my, maybe I also wear some scarf. So then I will wear these underneath and you know if I'm out running I can wear headset and it's not going to fall off if I do a workout and running uh, around in the marina in Dubai. So I can wear those and then I have, let's see, I can start with, let's start with this one. So this is actually a long uh, dress, very kind of, uh, you know, spring and uh, to buy nice you know friendly type of pattern and everything it's just like very good practical um, lightweight uh, dress this is also one of these things I can wear a pair of uh, black uh, leggings and just one of these tops and then put this one on and it looks like dressed up same with this one as I show you and what is this okay so this is a long sort of uh, shirt, black just plain basic shirt it has long sleeves and I can wear this one 
you know, on top of leggings and also when I'm going to do workouts I can wear this one because it is quite long, almost to the knees. And then I have this one which I love. This is a Palestinian Jordanian type of embroidery black scarf. So this is like some ethnic type of or like more unique form of um, culture, you know, not so mainstream in, in what we would call uh, today's form of mainstream. So th this one is really, really nice. It looks very nice and perfect, you know, I love it. So what is this? Oh, these are also some very lightweight uh, black half length, uh, like half uh, leg, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like they are not so all the way to the floor, but these are also going to be using, you know, when I do some workouts and also in the daytime I can wear them together with something. If I just going to the beach or going for beach walks and in the mornings, whatever I might be doing. So actually I have two more uh, scarves over here. These two are in silk. So, and those are really nice. I love them so much. They are so lightweight very good quality and everything and I just have some you know random stuff here and this is um, I'm gonna show you my vitamins you know so let's see here this one I will take also so this um, this is my uh, B50 complex so this is just like a random selection of B vitamins I'm going to take that one with me and then I have uh, one uh, this one is not opened, uh, this package. It's uh, B5 vitamins because I use this, uh, you know, like in my skincare and stuff. And then what else do I have here? Yeah, and then this one. So this is um, like, uh, you know, in Dubai you see quite a lot of people wearing abayas and stuff. Uh, so this is like a kimono or like just a, you just throw this thing on and it's like, um, you know, goes uh, below the knees and it has this nice form of sand color you know sort of um, even texture is quite unique I would say uh, and this one as a, as you can see it's quite lightweight and this one is just good you know if it's cold or if I just want to cover up or whatever I can just throw this one on anything and it will sort of dress down anything that I might be wearing so that is what I have in my suitcase. I have two other things actually here. So I just have uh, toothpaste, which is vegan, and it's uh, floor, uh, floor free because I don't use any floor in my toothpaste because, you know, it's not so good. You can read about it if you're interested in why you shouldn't use to uh, floor in your toothpaste. And then I have one, uh, you know, like, uh, what is this called? One of these organic uh, lip um, balms with in uh, mint, and also I'm going to get some gums, like uh, you know, shaving gum because that is something that I probably want to take with me on the airplane. Uh, and uh, what else? And a water bottle I always have, you know, in my sort of carrier type of thing that I take with me on the airplane. Um, so I'm going to show you some other stuff that I also have. Uh, in my check-in luggage. So the first thing, you know, is my facial uh, sort of cleanser. And then I have, you know, my uh, facial moisturizer and uh, sunscreen together with, uh, you know, like a tinted moisturizer from Andalou Naturals. And then I have a lip, uh, lip gloss here. And then I have Tretinoin, which I actually always buy when I'm in Dubai. Probably will put some lip sticks and you know such things as well in here and then because my eyebrows are going to you know get bleached from the sun I also bringing this one with me which is just to you know sort of color the eyebrows with also whoops also in my suitcase check in I putting some dark chocolate because when I'm arriving in Dubai late in the afternoon tired from all these travels of 24 hours um, I want to ensure I have some, you know, something that just, you know, I can just grab and then I can get going with the rest of the stuff that I might have to do it once I'm arriving there, you know. Uh, maybe I will put some... I didn't show you this. Wait, I have another thing as well. Oh, so I'm not taking any green powders in my suitcase. 
Uh, instead, I'm going to take these, which has uh, spirulina and uh, chlorella. So these are like these green tablets. They are super healthy, you know. So I'm going to put some of these in my hand luggage as well, because I probably am not going to eat any salad when I'm, you know, on the flights. So then I'm going to eat some of these instead, you know. And, uh, you know, once I'm in Dubai, I can also snack on some of them. I will have quite a lot of energy and stuff. So now to the hand luggage situation. So I'm a student, so I'm starting the spring term uh, tomorrow. And uh, because I've been able to sort of, you know, study ahead of the schedule, the last couple of weeks I am able to travel, you know. So that means that I do not have to take any books almost for my courses with me and I'm actually studying 200%. So I study, you know, the double than what you would study if you do full time. So, um, so yeah, so I just have some assignments and stuff that I need to write on when I will be in Dubai, but I'm going to do that on the beach and from the pool area and from any other location that seems nice, you know, under a palm tree, you know. So, um, so yeah, so I don't have that many physical books with me, uh, but any of the study literature that I have with me and study related, like my laptop and I'm going to have a camera with me and, you know, all these more, um, you know, val value type of uh, items, I'm putting them in my hand luggage, of course. So I'm going to show you what I have in my hand luggage and I think I will make a part two of this because this is already like uh, almost 20 minutes. So. So that is what I bring with me in my suitcase. Uh, I'm also going to add some, you know, socks and like all these other type of stuff and maybe some more scarves. And uh, is there something else that I have forgot? Maybe some food. It's always good to add some, you know, uh, oats or something because once I'm just arriving there and I'm just, you know, I just want to eat something, you know. Uh, and maybe some tea is also good, you know, but be careful with the tea because some countries have very strict policies when it comes to the foods and the um, the herbs and teas and stuff that you actually are allowed to bring into the country. But when you're going from Sweden to Dubai, you can actually take, you know, common types of food with you. Uh, so that's not a problem. But uh, just to be aware of that, you know, that there might be some regulations that are quite strict. 